everyone, it's Jess with Everyday Science, and welcome to another segment of At Home Science with Friends. Today I am joined by the lovely Ms. Gia Mora. Hello! And we are going to be doing some sick science rainbow straws. <laughs> Gia is one of four of a group of science enthusiastic actresses called the Sirens. And that's S-C-I. S-C-I. Like science. That's this. Sirens. S-C-I-R-E-N-S. And by the way. Oh, that's neat. This one is for you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, of course. So now you are that's an honorary awesome. siren with I'm us. I'm Iron I can talk today. <laughs> it's like half my thing. No. Thank you. Yeah. Hashtag act on science. Guys, we'll have to use that. Yes, yeah, video, absolutely. So. Oh, that's so yeah. sweet. Yeah, and also a hashtag full steam ahead. Oh, yeah. You know, incorporating all the arts and how arts and science inform each other. Yes, because yeah. a lot of people know, so you have STEM education, which stands for science, technology, engineering, engineering and, mathematics. and mathematics. And then the sirens have added the A for steam for mm -hmm. the arts. And I am all about incorporating art into science. Absolutely. That's what we're going to do today. Yeah. Gia, can you tell us a little bit more about what the Sirens mission is and what you guys are out there to do for science? Absolutely. So we are uh, working as science advocates, both in the community at large and with entertainment professionals throughout the world right now. And as a matter of fact, we've nice. even been partnering with organizations in Canada. We have people eh? in South Africa. <laughs> eh? I don't know how you'd say <laughs> eh. In, yeah. I get the Canada. How do you say it in South Africa? I didn't know. They get that really weird, almost... Kiwi, the, the like Sam, yeah, the Afrikaans, yeah, but then they've got the long A. I can't ever do it. It's an impossible <laughs> dialect. Uh, got to work on the long A. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, we've been partnering with organizations, and then we are also uh, creating content um, of science-infused entertainment, Yay. and uh, that kind of blends well with my other life on stage. Yes. Yeah. Gia does Einstein's Girl, or Gia is Einstein's Girl. It's this really awesome jazz review show, and I'll let her tell a little bit about it as well but I just saw it for the first time the other day and it was amazing so this girl is so talented <laughs> like so talented uh, she sings she's funny it's just it's this beautiful show I was so grateful to go to it well, and maybe you can tell them a little bit more yeah well thank you so much for coming first <laughs> of, of all to have you both there it was so exciting what a wonderful crowd yeah you know great. it's kind of like um, if you were like a doctor telling doctor jokes at a medicine <laughs> convention though I felt like I was like, wow, well, it's easy to get laughs when you got a room full of science geeks. This is great. But it's, um, yeah, so the show is this weird little hybrid of stand-up comedy and jazz and original music and storytelling. Um, and the metaphor of the show is theoretical physics as an exploration of love in the 21st century. But it's really about life in the digital age and the weird oddities of being <laughs> alive in the 21st century. So why don't we get started with our rainbow straw kit that we have here. Hooray! Just a little bit of an explanation of what we're doing. So G and I have prepared five cups of varying densities of salt water. Um, there's one teaspoon, two teaspoons, three teaspoons, four teaspoons, and five teaspoons of salt in each of these. And we've color coded them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them and see if all the colors mix together or if they stay apart. Mm. Mm, stratification. <laughs> We're going to dunk it in this okay. with our hands open, and then we're going to create a seal. Oh, boy. There you go. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to stick him in the two teaspoon. Okay. Okay, and then we, we let go, and then close again. And then lift up. That's cool. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And now I guess we'll do it with green. Yep. Stick it in. Lift up. Close. Woo! Ah! It's working! I think my yellow's kind of disappeared. Okay. <laughs> Into the blue. Ah! Uh oh. I feel like mine just. Oh no, it worked. Oh, it did. Ah! It did. Oh, I uh -oh. just lost mine. Hang on. I'm going to go back in again. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> and. Violet, oh. sort of. <laughs> I lost well, now I've just destroyed mine. Now it's totally gone. I think what happened is we lost our seals. I think so. On the straws. All right, so that was science experiment number one. Actually, that brings up a good point because one of the things that I think is interesting about science is that sometimes experiments don't always work the way that scientists want them to work. Yeah. I read this really great book once. I'm getting completely off track, but 
uh, there's a really great book that shows about how all of the outliers that don't belong, they become anomalies, and then you add up the anomalies, and then all of a sudden the whole scientific paradigm shifts. Right. And we, you know, we used to think that bleeding people was okay. Turned out not to be true. Yeah. I mean, I, I imagine... That's how the anomalies built up. <laughs> Can you imagine, though, I mean, that let's, let's say, okay, the, the 18th century, they were bleeding people. I mean, earlier than that, too. Yeah. But, so for 300 years, that's kind of the standard treatment for pretty much anything, because that's the only thing yeah. we know really anything about. Imagine 300 years from now how we will treat cancer. You know right now that we flood our bodies with platinum and hope that what we do is yeah. kill enough of the bad to help somebody? That perhaps, you know, that 300 years from now they'll look back and go, how what barbaric, they why did they do that, right? <laughs> so I love that idea of that, and, and the idea in science of beginning with a null hypothesis, like, all right, we've got these cups here, it's not going to work at all that we make a rainbow out of, you know, this vacuum seal with our thumbs and our plastic straw. And maybe we do it wrong and we go, okay, well maybe it's because there was user error. Right. Maybe it's because the hypothesis actually is, is no good. Maybe, and maybe it's because we're looking at, we're asking the wrong question. And yeah. that maybe what, the, what learning that something doesn't, isn't successful is a success in and of itself because it, it asks a better question. And that's Exciting. a big part of this, the sirens too, is just yeah. cultivating curiosity. Exploration. New heights. <laughs> so what we'll do next is we'll put them in one of these. And you're I got this. braver than I am. I'm going to let you do all of them. Look how, oh, that is beauty. <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. So let's just talk about the basic science of what's going on right here. Yeah. So density equals mass divided by volume. Mm -hmm. So the same amount of volume, all of this is, has the same amount of water. But there's way more salt in this water than in this water. So it's higher density down here and lower density down here. The higher density something is, the more it sinks. And so that's why basically the blue is going down to the bottom, the red is staying up at the top, and the yellow is kind of right in the middle. So I remember good. studying this in marine biology. The I think it's called the halo climb. So the ocean is actually stratified uh, differently. There's When you first go in, there's high... I remember it kind of it looks like this, so I remember from it, really. And it's because... The ocean is saltier at different levels, and it's saltier in different parts of the world, too. Like, the Caribbean and Sargasso Seas are a lot more salty than, say, the Pacific Northwest. For whatever reason, it's always stuck in my head about um, instant iced tea. And, like, if you just huh. put a scoop of instant iced tea in a cup, eventually, It'll... entropy will, will happen. It will disperse, and it will disperse evenly, and that's how, that's what those laws are. But, like, huh. the idea of that, because when you plop that very dry, cakey sort of substance on the water, and it just sort of sits there. The idea that even without my touching it, it will have its own action always stuck with me. <laughs> I mean, of course, I, like I was that. never patient enough to just wait it out, but... Um, <laughs> well, you're thirsty. you got to start yeah, and drink really it. want that tea right now. <laughs> thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Gia, thank you so much for coming on Thank you show. for having me, Jeff. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, where can people find more about Sirens? Uh, you guys should definitely check, a, check yeah. them out. Please do. Um, we are at Sirens.com. That's S-C-I-R-E-N-S dot -E com. You can also find us on Twitter at Sirens. We're also a Facebook community. You can like us on there as well. Awesome. Cool. And Einstein's Girl, too. Oh, yes. You have to yeah. check out Einstein's Girl. You can also Girl. go to Einstein's Girl dot com, hear more clips, find out when uh, we're doing the show again. Great, guys. Thank you again for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Everyday Science and check out the sirens. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below, and let us know what kind of science you guys want to see. That's both for the sirens and for Everyday Science. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I just went to the Science Center, and I got, like... A bunch of stuff. I got all these things. I got them astronaut ice cream because I want the oh, first thing I do when I walk in is to give them astronaut ice cream. I love that. So, oh, no, yeah. that's going to be great. I love me that. The Neapolitan was always my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got the Neapolitan. Oh, yeah. <laughs>